Hello everyone, welcome to the video and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a quick tutorial on this warm smoky eye look. I really like how it turned out. This look is kind of a halo eye with some glitter and some duochrome shimmer. This is the look right here. Actually the duochrome shimmer kind of faded. That's interesting. I'll have to play around with that more. But this look is using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I got this palette for Christmas from my wonderful father. He always likes to support me in my makeup journey, so he got this for me and I was super excited about it because I could not afford or I could afford it, but I could not justify this purchase just by myself. So I'm really happy that I got it for Christmas. So I wanted to do more of a bold look. I posted more of a natural look on my Instagram. So if that's what you're looking for, um, I'll put my Instagram username down below. Uh, it's currently getting a lot of likes, like 5,000 or something. That's crazy. So clearly a lot of my followers like natural looks, but with New Year's coming up, I kind of wanted to do something that was a little more fun, but not completely unwearable because some YouTubers post really, really bold looks that I would never wear. And while those tutorials are fun to watch, they're just not practical for me. So I figured I would do something a little different, but still pretty neutral. I can't tell if it already faded or if it's just not picking up in the camera, so I'll have to go figure that out. Uh, but yeah, I really like this palette so far. Um, I know there was a little bit of controversy on it, um, so far I've been enjoying it even though I've only had it for three days and I've only used it twice so I'm definitely gonna have to use it some more to determine a concrete opinion but so far um, so good I've been liking it so if you want to find out how to get this look then just keep watching all right so the first thing that I'm going to do is go in to this light peachy shade here that's called Eden and I'm going to dip into this using a Morphe E27 brush it's a, just a really large synthetic super fluffy brush I think it's my favorite blending brush and I'm just going to start in the crease and then I'm going to smoke it upwards towards the brow. I'm using this as my transition shade just because I really like how light and warm it is. After that I'm going into the shade next to it called Amber which is a nice uh, medium toned warm brown. I'm just going to take this on a smaller fluffy brush. This one is from Tarte, the Unicorn Collection. I like it for the crease because it's a little less dense and not as large as the first brush that we used. And I'm just going to place it in the crease. I'm not gonna take it as far up as I did the shade Eden. Then back in with the fluffy Morphe brush with no additional product on it, I'm just going to buff out that color we just put down. I've noticed with this palette, they're not the most pigmented mattes, but sometimes that's a good thing because I really do like the way these blend. I find that blending these mattes out is really easy, but if you want a super intense color payoff, you do have to build it up a bit. Then I'm gonna go in with this very small blender brush. Is it gonna focus? No, why would it? This very small blender brush. This is a Morphe E17. And I'm going to go in with this shade at the end. It's the darkest color in the palette called Oud. I don't know. It's kind of a weird word. Is that Dutch? And I'm going to take that and I'm just going to place it on the outer corner and the inner corner. And then I'm also going to take... It's slightly into the crease, but not pack it on as deeply as I did the inner and outer corners. I'm just tapping it and flicking off the excess so that I don't have too much on the brush because I don't want the crease to be crazy dark. Then I'm just blending out again using the Tarte brush and again using the original Morphe brush. I'm then going in with some more of that shade and I'm just really packing it on the inner and outer corners because I want those to be the darkest and it kind of got, you know, blended out when we we're blending. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the NYX Dropper Foundation. I find that this foundation is a little tacky, so it makes for a good cut crease foundation. I don't really like using my shape tape because that doesn't really have a stick to it. It dries very matte and smooth, which is perfect for under eye concealer, but um, not so great for if you want to pack on a shimmer shade. It's not great for sticking. So if you have a concealer or a foundation that has a little bit of a stick to it, a lot of them do, um, that would be a really good option for using on the eye to make shimmers appear 
more vibrant. I'm gonna use this Morphe brush. It doesn't have a name, it's from the Vegan Collection. Ew, mine's so dirty. I use this for cutting my crease all the time and I just washed it like two days ago and it's already so gross. And I'm just gonna place that on the center of the lid. And I like to bring the concealer past my crease because I have hooded lids. So if I bring it up to my crease, I will have a lot of transfer between my lid and my crease. So I like to bring it up above where my crease hoods in. And I still probably will get some transfer this way, but definitely not as much as if I didn't take it up as high. I don't know if that makes sense, but. Okay, and then I'm going into this shade called Blood Moon. It's a really pretty copper shade. Um, I'm going to use that with this, this, with this a Tarte Flat Shader Brush. Any flat synthetic brush would do. And I'm just going to pick up that shade and place it over where we placed the concealer. As you can see, this shadow really sticks well to this foundation because it already has a little bit of stick. That's just like its formula. So it makes everything really intense. I've almost used up that entire bottle of foundation just from cutting my crease because it's not my favorite, like all over my face. And then I'm going back in with the dark brown shade on this little tiny brush and I'm just going to kind of blend the two together. I also like taking the flat shader brush and just taking it a little bit past the concealer just to blend things out. Now you could just leave it like this as a copper eye, but I kind of wanted to play with some of the lid toppers that are in the palette, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play with the shade Retrograde, which is a warm brown and greenish blue shift. It looks a lot like MAC Blue Brown Pigment. A lot of uh, brands have come out with this kind of shade. There's one by Urban Decay. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I don't know, but it's a really pretty shade and I kind of wanted to play with it. I haven't played with a shade like this in a while. So I'm gonna go back in with the same Tarte Shader brush and I'm going to dig into the product. I think since these are lid toppers, they're not really something you're gonna want to apply dry. So I'm just going to spray it with my Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. Just like so. And I'm just gonna place it over top of the Blood Moon shade. Oh, see how pretty that is? I love shades like this. Sorry if you can hear my mom talking to my cat in the background. Okay, now the shadow on the upper lid is all done, so I'm going to throw on some liner and I will be right back. Okay, so I have finished the rest of my face and my liner. For liner, I used the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is my favorite drugstore liner, it's really good. And for foundation, I've used my new favorite, which is also by Wet n Wild, and it's the Photo Focus foundation in the shade porcelain this is the lightest one I really really enjoy this foundation it's a good color for me kind of smells like paint but the finish is really beautiful and underneath my eyes I've used Tarte shape tape and I've set it all with the Laura Mercier translucent powder so I'm ready to do my under eyes I've already started because I forgot to turn my camera on so I'm just running the dark brown shade underneath my lash line but I'm being very light-handed and I'm using the Morphe E17 again the smallest brush I used then I'm gonna kind of wipe the excess on the back of my hand and I'm going to go in with our transition shade which is called Eden this is the light peachy one and I'm going to load that up on the same small brush I have small eyes so I like to use smaller brushes when I'm working on the lower lash line I don't like to use things that are too fluffy because I don't want to bring it too far down. So I'm just gonna take that Eden shade and use it to blend out the dark brown that I can't pronounce. So I'm just gonna call it the dark brown. For liner, I'm going to take the Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil in the shade zero and just line my waterline. I hope it'll work because it's a really dull pencil and I don't have a sharpener. And for mascara, I'm going to use the Stellar Beauty. What is this mascara called? Dark Horse mascara? I don't know, I'll list it in the uh, description box below because I have no idea what this is called. Okay, and those are the finished eyes. I'm gonna add some lashes, but I kinda like doing that as the last step for some reason. I don't know why I do that. It kinda just ties the whole look together, so I wait till the end. 
And now I'm going to move on to the face. I'm going to use bronzer first, and this is the Morphe Y4, and I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells really good. The only thing with this bronzer, I do like it, but I find that you really have to load up your brush with product or else it doesn't really show up. I don't know if anyone else has found that. Let me know if you have. And I'm just going to bronze up the skin. See, like I put a lot of product on the brush and that's all that's coming off. Like if I'm light handed, you can't see it. So I don't know what's up with that. I do like it. I just find I have to really get in there, you know? And then for blush, I'm using the only brush that I blush that I brought home, which is the uh, Pretty Vulgar Blush, and this is in the shade Hush Blush, number 18. And I'm just applying this with another angled Morphe brush. This is the E4. And finally, to highlight, I'm going to take this palette by Sam Marcel. Uh, it is the Luxurious Highlighting Palette. It's cruelty free. I had never heard of the brand before they reached out to me and they wanted me to try it out and I love it. I've been using it all the time. Sorry, I forgot to tell you what shade I was going to use. I'm going to mix this shade called Soleil and this shade called Creme. The powders are just really smooth and they lay on the skin really nicely. They don't emphasize any texture that I may have. So yeah, I just, I really have been enjoying it. I'll be honest though, I'm not totally sure what to do with the two pink shades. Um, I just, I don't know, pink doesn't look great on me, so I've kind of been avoiding them. So I don't know how those two are, but the other shades are really nice. All right, I'm just gonna throw on some lashes off camera because God knows I'm awful at applying lashes. Lashes. It's so hard um, on camera anyways and I will be right back and we can finish off the lips and then this look will be complete Okay, and finally for lips. I'm going to go in with oh the lashes are on by the way um, These are the morphe lashes in the style chummy I think chummy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure and then I'm going to go in with the morphe liquid lip in the shade brunch I hope this color looks good on me. I've actually never worn it. So I just thought it kind of went with the look I don't know how I feel about that color on me. It looks a little dark. Kind of looks just like orange. Whatever, it's a liquid lip, so we're gonna go with it just because I'm too lazy to take it off. Okay, and this is the completed look. I put my hair down to make it look like I actually, you know, tried. Whatever, I never do anything with my hair, so we all should be used to it by now. So this is the completed look. I'll zoom you guys in. So this is how it turned out. I really love the whole look, really. Um, I don't think the lip is actually that bad. It's not my favorite. I think I could have gone a little bit lighter, but I don't currently have... Ugh, there's a hair in my face. I don't currently have any lighter lip colors at my parents house So that's not really an option for me, but yeah, I really love how the eyes turned out Super pretty and yeah, let me know if you want to see more looks using this palette or if you want to see any looks um, Using any other products. I think I'm going to do a video of my standout products of 2017 because it's December 30th and most of the products that I really truly love I did bring home to my parents house so I figured that would be a good option for a video because 2017 I tried a lot of things and I found a lot of products that I really really do like so yeah that is all for this video please subscribe the button is down below and I will see you in my next video bye is the, is the name Oud Dutch or the word Oud O-U-D German because I have a shadow in here called that and I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't really care, I'm just asking. Hi. Okay. Are you gonna leave? Oh, it's really snowing out there. It's snowing pretty hard, eh? Oh yeah. Huh. I think since these are lid toppers, they aren't- uh oh.